Hey guys, hey guys, it's me, Lani. It's me, Lani, 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 good, good. <laughs> so, hi guys. <laughs> you know, I, I caused a bit of a hard this week, didn't I? As per usual, you understand? Come on, I'm not gonna come back on back chat without a bang. Are you dumb? Get me, I had to draw man out or whatever. But, um, for all the new people who don't know who I am and maybe I need to, to, to back chat, then hi, my name is Lani, I'm lit. <laughs> and for all my returning subscribers that you know that I FCB heavy, I love y'all, what's good? You know I FCB heavy, so just thank you for coming back, boo. Thank you for coming back. So this video is a little solo thing for me to address the situation, to address the situation, because a lot of people talking, a lot of people talking, a lot of people are, you know, <laughs> people are actors in this life, do you understand? People need Oscars because people are capping. People are actors. Anyway, <laughs> let me just get into it. Let me just get into it. Oh, one second, I need to, I'm just texting one of my um, ops's, um, ops, you know. Okay. Hey guys. So, so I'm gonna react to my man's video and I'm obviously gonna give you my version of the situation. He capped in that video, yes he did. But I don't blame my man for capping because me and Joseph are very different people. Um, well, well, I wouldn't say we're very different, but we are. So basically Joseph, Joseph, I, do you know what? It's just hard to explain. Joseph is the type of person, he comes from a very, very good home and he has good, good morals. I will say that. Very, very good morals. He's a very good guy. So with Joseph, he's all his life, he's been the type of guy who he, 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 he doesn't have his business out there. He don't talk about girls like that. He's very, he keeps stuff to himself. He's very private. He's very respectful. That's Joseph. And I really respect him for that. But at the same time, you know, Joseph's a YouTuber, so... Sometimes as a YouTuber, you have to share some details, do you understand? You have to share some details because your audience wants to know you. They want to know you. So, um, that's what me and him differ. But anyway, let's get into the video. Let me react to his um, stupid thing in his car. I do want to say one thing. Everyone was saying, oh, is he in my car? Sorry to disappoint you. He's not in my car. I didn't even know he was filming this. I was actually pissed off with him because I was just like, why are you filming the truth? Okay, let's hear about it. He's not in my car. I see that that's the top like comment. He's not in my car. Look at him smile. Like he's smiling. Like he's he's having a he's having a heart attack. Like you can't believe it. It's like this is so low. Why did she do that? <laughs> yeah, boo. Look at him having a heart attack. I already know you're capping. 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 So, you're my people. It's your boy D Square. You already know the vibes. We're back with another video. You get me, like, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've been gone for a hot sec, but let's not even watch that. So. See the fact episode one came out last night. Yeah, yes, you know. The whole internet was going crazy. You get what I'm trying to say? Like everything, the past twelve whatever hours since the episode came out, they've been so fucking crazy. And as <laughs> everyone knows why, well, obviously the topic we were talking about at the start was already so controversial. It was crazy because everyone had different views, different opinions, and I had very strong views on this because I felt like people would use cancel culture and take it in a way where they just feel like they can come and tarnish anyone's name that they don't like or that they're not cool with. See, in the episode, yeah, I go back and forth with bare people. I go back and forth with Lani, <laughs> with Ikra, and I can't even remember, man, that the person from yesterday was just, it was just too much to handle. So, I'm not even going to waste your time, man. <laughs> uh, I know what you're here for. You know what you want me to answer, all that type of shit. Like, you saw what happened on the episode. Do you know what I'm trying to say? You heard what Blighty said, you heard what I said. Did you get that? You see, yeah, we're talking about cancer culture here, yeah, then for some reason, everyone knows Blighty being Hashim Blighty, man. 
And then I feel like this girl just loves me, man. She has a crush on me. Also. <laughs> if you want me, just let me know. Bro. What? I feel like you needed to say that something. What? I didn't even know he said that. I didn't even know he said that. I didn't even know this nigga said that. I want you and I have a crush on you. What? So it's one sided, yeah? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. <laughs> you are a top cover. You are a top cover, but it's cool though, babes. It's cool though. <laughs> the fucking cheek. The fucking cheek of this guy. Next. T-shirt, my nigga, like, the <laughs> T-shirt. Why are you lips me if you don't like me? Joseph, I just want to know that. I would just like to know, you know. And the details of this story is just like, who lips who? Listen, my guy, on Snapchat, let's be honest, the flirting, is it one-sided? And I heard from a little birdie, I heard from Little Birdie that um, the flirting. <laughs> I heard from a Little Birdie that um, you're trying to insinuate that all of this happened very long ago. That's cap. That's cap. In the beginning, when I first met him, he was just my brother, and I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you. We were just friends, and obviously, if we get we got close off back chat, and we were just close in general. We've been friends. Nothing. I don't know what he said to you, but I have a feeling because someone told me something, something. The beginning of our relationship was just friendship. I don't know why he's capping. We would, for that, I said he was a handsome boy because he was a handsome, he's a cute boy, but it was never that, that in the beginning, okay? All of this, as you lot have seen, if you look on camera, Joseph has got more confident as he's got older. He's a lot more confident. So he's able to be a bit more brazy with it, you get it? So that is why what happened happened. And anyway, let me, let me hear his cap. <laughs> I'm just trying to, I'm winding him up, I'm just winding him up. Fuck off. <laughs> I love how open he was in this. <laughs> Let's hear the cap. In that discussion, are you are you joking? What, Lani on back chat? What? You know I run the team, okay? You know I talk that talk. Don't ever try it, Joseph. Do you understand? Me and you on back chat is levels. You think that you was handling me on back chat? No, please. I don't know who told you that, bitch. I don't know who told you that. But next, yeah, go on. Just keep it humble next time. You already saw the starting lineup. This is the first episode. <laughs> You know, you kind of have, you held a smoke stool. You tried to bring it to me saying, oh yeah, kiss, blah, blah, blah. You want to say that woman lips on you, but Lani, let's be real. You know what's pursuing you. This guy is capping. This guy is a kappa. This guy, this guy is a kappa. Who was pursuing who? Are you all right? Are you actually smoking? <sighs> Listen, I'm so, so sorry, but if someone keeps giving you the eye, yeah? If someone keeps giving you the eye, or keeps giving you the flirtation, and then you just blatantly ask them, what, do you want to lips me? What, that doesn't mean I'm moving to you. You've been looking at me. You've been looking at me. Do you understand? Stop trying it. Your top cap up. It's all right, little darling. It's all right, little darling. It's all right. Continue. Continue the cap. Was that, was that moving to you? Yes, you was. was actually you. you. was flirting heavy. You was flirting heavy. What's it? I haven't said anything, I'm just asking you. I'm like, cool, yeah. Now you, you guys have seen it now, yeah. You've seen the way this girl's come for me. She's come on slow. Oh my god. Like, Lani said in love with me. I did not expect it. Lani said in love with me. With the Afro Nation thing, she tried to attack me. But you see me, yeah. 
I never take L's, I just keep bouncing back. And as you're gonna see in the next season, in the next episodes coming out here, I swear down, you don't know that. Us man done our 10 kilo. I know I've done my thing, and you're gonna see that. This and I'll say do I. All of this shit I always do my thing, I'm learning. It's, it's for nothing, man, because they know that they got smoked in all the debates. It's Joseph, yeah? I'm gonna bring him back to see Is he alright? Is he actually alright? <laughs> my life is over. Yeah, like, after that, whatever you don't think happened, nothing happened after that. It happened once and it didn't happen again and it hasn't happened since. And we're not going out, we're not talking. She's not my girlfriend. Like, yeah, man, we're just cool. Cast members are sure to get what I'm trying to say. Like, it's not that deep. You don't have to be. Of course, she said that, but I don't think it's that deep. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. One thing that was actually bothering me about yesterday is mercy. That picture, that Lonnie, you finally like. You I loved that picture. The picture of you and, and Tion, you loved it. You was, you loved it. You loved it. You loved it. You loved it. You was in the shade bar. You was in UK gossip. You, he loved that picture. He, this, this. I didn't know. I didn't know Joseph could cut like this. Joseph, you loved it. If you didn't love it, why haven't you blocked me? Why haven't you? What, you didn't send me any direct message in, on WhatsApp. Nothing to say. Why did you post that? I have no message from him. Nope, not, no phone call, nothing. He's not upset about the picture. Fucking loves it. And what I'm going to do, darling, is I'm going to get that picture printed on a tee. I'm sorry, I am. Because I just think, like, I need to remember this moment in my life because it's just such a brilliant moment. Do, do you know what I mean? It's a fantastic moment. So I need to remember it, period. But yeah. This guy. <sighs> shut up. Such a... You, but you but you loved it though but you loved it though but you loved it though and you're keeping it going by talking about me but you loved it though you love you love this back and forth with me okay so i just want to say something quickly because i'm not going to go on forever but like, i get the gist of what he's doing he's trying to be like lani you, you want me and i don't want you Nigga! <laughs> just like, <laughs> like you know on snapchat on snapchat of recent times. Of recent times on Snapchat. And also another thing I want to say to you is the kiss did not happen two years ago. It happened um, last year. I feel like he's trying to make it seem like it was a very long time ago to like push it in the distance. Like, oh my God, it was such a long time ago. I, I was just having a crazy, insane day and I kissed, I kissed crazy Lani. No, bitch. You know you didn't. It wasn't two years ago, bro. It was last year, all right? It was last year, nigga. Like, don't try it. Like, it was last year. And then another thing is, all this, you know, Lani pursues me. Okay, I pursue you. First of all, that's cap. And even if it wasn't cap, you can't kiss yourself. Do you know what I mean? And also, I'm not gonna lie, I heard that you said that you would um, smash me in the Smash and Pass video. At least we're being honest about something. Yeah, at least we're being honest about something. Anyway. We're not beefing, we're still brethren. I just want to say one more thing about Joseph, yeah? Um, and this is more for his supporters than anything. Or maybe even my supporters, because you guys don't know him too tough. So I'm going to tell you what I know about Joseph, yeah? Me and Joseph's relationship is a bit complicated. Not because we've done things, because we haven't, but we have a love and hate relationship, that's fact. Yasmin can, can, can talk for us. We've had a love and hate relationship. We've fallen out behind the scenes about two times. One of the times I was even in tears, like, because my man unfollowed me and like, he just like dropped me out and I was like really hurt because me and him, we have like a very special friendship, like we have a bond, didn't it? And I also want to say about Joseph, this is more for his supporters. Um, um, because obviously I'm somebody that knows him in real life and I just want to say like, if you support Joseph, you will never be disappointed in him like that. He's actually an, a very, 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 very nice person. Like genuinely a really, really nice person. No one is perfect, but he's a very great person, which is why I feel like um, when he made him fall out, it hurts me so much, so, so much because he's a really nice guy. Like his mom and dad brought him up really, 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 really well. He's such a great person. In terms of boys or men I've come across in my life, I would say Joseph is up there with morals and 
just being respectful to women. I can't even explain to you guys like how good of a person Joseph is. He's actually a great guy. Isn't he? And I remember when I saw him on back chat and he was like, basically everyone was saying he's being Lucas because he was like running the stage and talking, talking and like owning it and being a man. Guys, I was so proud of him. I was so proud of him. Like, like to the point where I could have even like got emotional because I saw him like when he was more timid in first season and he comes back and he's being like a beast. I was so proud of Joseph, like so proud of him because I don't just want myself to win. I also want my friends to win. And Joseph is a really important friend of mine and I want Joseph to do well. And he just smashed it this season, no cap. Even though he's a prick sometimes and he pisses me off, I am proud of him. And I'll always be proud of him, do you understand? So I also want to say one more thing. Me and Joseph's friendship is a lot stronger than you lot think. Do you understand? Like we actually love each other as friends. Do you understand? There's a lot of love there. Do you get it? So I just need you lot to, you know, understand that because I don't even think you lot would ever see that dynamic because obviously we don't show it in it. But um, the bickering is funny and whatever. And he tried to draw me out and whatever. But that's why he can move past it because it's not, it's with me and him, like we've been through worse things, innit? So that's my nigga, like that's my that's my friend. Um, he definitely capped. He definitely capped. Um, but I don't blame him because, like I said, he doesn't like his business out there. But yeah, we definitely lips last year, and it's not that deep. Like he said, it was literally like five seconds, and it happened one time, and it didn't happen again. Um, something maybe some some of you wonder is um, is there a romantic future for me and Joseph? Like in the future not right now because me and him are not pursuing nothing right now it was just a one-time thing it, it was it's whatever in it and the answer to that is i don't know i can't read i can't actually tell you anything in it at the end of the day at the moment joseph is just my friend and he we, we see each other as friends but we have a lot of respect for each other so i don't i, I don't really know i feel like it's up to god at the moment we're both also pursuing our careers and I think that's a good thing. And we both are each other's cheerleaders and we want each other to do well. And that's what friends should do. Friends should be each other's cheerleaders and want each other to do well. So that's it really. But um, yeah, like he really capped in that video, you know? Oh God, I just can't believe how much he capped in that video. Oh my God. Anyway, guys, <laughs> that's my reaction. Don't believe the BS. Like he's actually a uh, top capper. You know how men are though. Men always try and dumb down how much they're in love with somebody, and um, let, it's it's very possible that he's madly in love with me. I mean, would you blame him? I mean, <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, I also want to say one more thing. I'm gonna put a comment here. I saw one comment from a girl, and she was saying like how she doesn't. She used to think Joseph was sexy, but now he's kissed me like some, some, some. And I thought, bitch, bitch. I, I think that's hella rude. I'm not gonna lie to you, I think that's so rude that like you can say that after uh, my man's lips to me, um, you, you, feel, you feel a type of way. First of all, this is something girls do a lot. A lot of girls were like really trying to put me down when they found out that basically I had history with my man, not, not Joseph the other one the rapper trying to put me down trying to make it seem like i'm i'm worthy of dating certain types of guys then girls are really capping about joseph like because obviously joseph's a good looking boy so oh what joseph's good looking so why would he lips someone like lani why am i clapped don't fucking try it because i'm definitely hanging on you like don't fucking try it. you look a, a pretty i know for a fact you can't be pretty because a pretty girl would never say that she would never say that pretty girls don't hate on other girls what 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 is the point of you saying that it sounds very very childish and you sound like a hater you sound like a top hater do you understand also another thing you have to understand is people don't always date people based on just i'm not saying i'm not pretty but people don't just date people or kiss people or attract people based on looks i am a very 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 nice person in real life you might see all my wahala because i've got hurt but the reason i've got hurt is because of how naive and nice i've been in the past i'm a very 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 nice person so um, when, um, when you see a woman or a man with a person and you want to judge them like why why are they with them why are they with them you don't know 
You don't know. Maybe that person gave him that kidney. Maybe that person bribed and died for him. Maybe that person is the person that loved him the most. You don't know. So when you look at like this, you don't you don't actually unless you're a goodie and you actually watch my videos and you know Lani, you don't know how 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 nice I can be to the people in my life. So please don't try that. And it's just very immature for you to think people are one dimensional. People are attracted to people for different reasons, several different reasons. And like I said, one of them is what's inside, outside and inside. And you sis sound like you're ugly on the outside and the inside. How about that? Hmm? How about that bitch choking it? Anyway, bye. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Went from a five to a ten, you know. Bitch, bow down. Look who's turned to a clown now. I came back like a Marian. You fell off like bow wow. You ain't got no class. Can't sit with us, can't come to my school.